Hey now, it's Anthony with ANA Professional Services, and before we start this video, go ahead and join the New Wave Facebook group. All right, let's get right into it. Let's talk about how to start your business. When I mean how to start your business, I'm talking about those LLCs, those licenses, uh, bank accounts, all that stuff you're going to need to be an official business now the first thing you gotta have is you gotta get your EIN number this is how the IRS identifies your business okay so you simply go to irs.gov I'm gonna say that again irs.gov if you type in IRS if you search it it's gonna have a lot of stuff you know a lot of different companies that are trying to get money to help you start your LLCs. They're legit, but they're gonna charge you for everything. And if you wanna save a little money, you wanna go directly to irs.gov. If you don't see .gov at the end of it, it's not a government entity. So you want to use irs.gov. You go to irs.gov and you simply go to EIN. You go ahead and you submit your application. Now, for the most part, most of us in this detailing business, we're going to probably want to choose limited liability company. That's what you want to go with. And right there, when you press that, it explains to you what a limited liability company is. I like the limited liability company option because it allows you to separate the business from yourself. Your personal and your business remains separate. This should be your first step in starting your business. You're gonna need your EIN number because when you get your bank accounts, when you file with the state, and when you also file your taxes, you're gonna need that EIN number. If you wanna get a business loan, they're gonna ask you for your EIN number. It's very important. A lot of people are out here calling themselves a mobile detailing business, but they don't have the proper paperwork. You may get by with it and you may not. And if you don't get by with it, it's gonna cost you dearly. So smarten up. It doesn't cost you anything to go to irs.gov and get your EIN number. It's totally free. Now the next thing you should do is you should go to your secretary of state to register your business with your state. Now some states, are different. It's different from state to state. Some don't require you to register. Most do. The price is going to vary. Like the state of Tennessee is $300, but the state of Mississippi is $50. So each state is going to be different. But you're either going to have to do this at your Department of Revenue or your Secretary of State, which is pretty much the same thing. SOS, which stands for Secretary of State, and just type the abbreviation of your state. For example, my state is Mississippi, so SOS MS, and as you can see, my Secretary of State pops up. Now, this also ends in .gov. Most government website entities will, will end in .gov. I, I do understand some end in US, but the majority of them that I've seen end in .gov. Um, if you're not sure, call your state. If you're not sure, call your Secretary of State by phone and ask them what's their website address so you can know that you're on the right site because there are imitation sites out there that will take your money. To register with the Secretary of State does cost in each state. It's different prices in each state. Now, as you can see, uh, it asks me, would I be doing an LLC? Do I have an EIN? Uh, how many people that I employ? They also give you information on things that you're gonna need to start your business, which is pretty cool. So if you notice, everything ties back into each other. If you notice in the beginning with the irs.gov for your EIN, now you're at the state and they're asking you, do you have an EIN? Because once you start to fill out the application, it's going to require you to have an EIN 
to attach that to your LLC for the state. Most platforms will require you to register, pretty much uh, set up a login ID and password. And the process is simple. Uh, you're pretty much answering questions that you should know. Things such as your business address, your business name, EIN number, once you have that, social security number, things of that sort. Uh, once you complete it and everything's a go and you pay your money, you get all the information that you need right then and there. You can download it directly to your computer or phone. The next step is to get your privilege license. You already dealt with the federal, then you dealt with the state, and now you have to deal with your local government, which is gonna be your city or county. You go to your local courthouse, and you're gonna to have to apply for your privilege license. The privilege license is what you're going to need to do business in that city or county. Uh, that's more for like legal reasons. Uh, so if you're out watching somebody's car and code enforcement runs up on you and hey, do you have your privilege license? And you will have all this information. And let me tell you this. You're going to also need your EIN number to get your privilege license. So all this stuff ties into each other. All right. Thanks for watching. Like, share, subscribe and shouts out to a new wave. Peace.